What's up, what's up guys? My name is Marwa and if it's your first time to this YouTube channel, kindly subscribe. I am just here to tell you about uh, Limon Nightlife. I've seen a lot of comments coming in, people are asking me, hey Marwa, are you still gonna do more videos about Limon? And I'm right here to tell you what I think about Limon Nightlife. <laughs> So number one is uh, generally it's a very chill city actually many people think it's dangerous which I didn't find to be dangerous maybe because uh, of my different perspective or views of uh, different cities when I go it's just a city where it's a mix of everybody so we have black white mix class that's a mix a most mastiff so I don't know you know all those type of colors you can find them in Limon <laughs> And uh, another thing you should understand is uh, it's not really like a huge, huge city. Yeah, it's a city which in a day you can cross over maybe five times, you know. And uh, yeah, so the evening starts very chill. And actually, I went out on Friday, so my perspective, my perspective here is about Friday night. If you have uh, a date, you can come here. This is her workplace. That's her workplace, actually. Yeah. yeah. This is my workplace. I'm yeah. a waitress here, actually. Yeah, exactly. And you love it. We prepare sushi, the best sushi in Limon downtown. Oh. There. Wow. You will love it. You you gotta come here. You will meet my my coworker Maria, Jennifer, Angie. Yeah, Angie, right there. That's she's my, Angie. She's my bestie. I'm a coworker. Yeah. <laughs> love it because she knows how to prepare the best chat ever oh wow cocktails and everything so we're going to an, another club they call oh check the yeah, check this. that <laughs> the club is called uh, titos titos it's it's called Tito. very famous actually yes yeah, it's very famous it's very famous in lemon downtown yeah <laughs> Titos. So today I came, I wanted to sleep in this hotel. Then I wanted to sleep in this hotel today. Yeah, and they told me. That's a very famous hotel here. Yeah, they told me $58 one night. I was like, damn. It's because it's one of the oldest, one of the oldest hotels in Limon downtown. Okay. So, you know, at least, I mean, in my workplace, you can see pictures of. Uh, the hotel park hotel before oh before the time, new okay like, you know, the old, old times yeah the old the old park hotel yeah maybe you can see wait, maybe you can see those pictures tomorrow i will show you the okay yeah tomorrow probably So, <laughs> then they told me to come to this hotel, there's a hotel here. Akon, it's Akon. Very popular too. Oh, it's popular? Yeah. But they told me their internet was not good. I don't know. What yeah, they told me. I went there and they told me, we have good place, but the internet is not so good, so I left. Okay, I don't yeah. know. 
Yeah. yeah. Well, um, at least I've noticed that it's very popular at least in the downtown. Oh, yeah. But, you want to know something? Um, the, park, the park also yeah. has a lot of people every day. Oh. Tourists. Yeah, it looks so classic. Like, yeah. really classic. Yet, actually, a lot of people who, is, who are staying there yeah. go to my workplace. Oh, wow. So, So this is the other hotel. It's called Hotel Akon. Yeah. It is called like that for an animal that looks. Like oh, it's an animal name. An animal name. Okay. It is Akon. Akon. That's the hotel. Yeah. Okay. It is called Akon because of an animal that is family from uh, the. The eagle. Okay. I don't eagle. know how is it called in English, but in Spanish would be something like a con. A con. I don't know. <laughs> we are already in. Hmm. We, are, we are arriving Tito's. Tito's is right there. Yes. This is the culture house of Limon. Yeah, I saw this today. Sometimes it works as a theater. No, Where? Tell me about what you say. The Babylon. Is it that twelve? Oh, the it's right the police. There. Okay. There's the police. Oh, actually, there are too many. Yes, yeah. there's a lot. Maybe they're looking for someone. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> Babylon. Right so that's the cultural house. Yeah. And we're already home. Home, well, taking me. We, we are right. Yeah. The clients and animals are very popular here. Yeah. Uh, which which animal? <laughs> so we're going there. Hey, I'll pay the entrance for everybody. Let's go. For everybody. Yeah, I don't know how much dollars I have, but maybe. Let me, let me, let me think about it. Yes. You better be sure. If you don't know, they will grab you. you okay. Know? So yeah. let me, you know. Do you know? Okay. We are negotiating for an ID. She didn't carry her ID right there. So the guys are negotiating for ID, okay? For us to go up here. I went out on Friday and we went out with our friends and the night was pretty chill like uh, it didn't seem so hyped like you see people walking like in Cuba you know Cuba you see like hundreds of people just going for the party like people are just going and going but Limon was just chill you see people walking and at the end of the day end up in a club or pass by the club yeah but I'll say like this uh, so we went to the club now before going to the club we had some a few drinks here and there you know just to to keep ourselves high ah, it's just amazing i went to the beach not really beach but uh, malikon where like there's a viewpoint you can watch the sun go down or also you can have the breeze and um there are several places where they are really really famous but i realized it's one of those places where when you go they are like specific clubs you should always check them out so there is uh this club here i forgot the name i'm sorry uh, so there's this club where we went it was really nice and uh, people were partying having a lot of fun and also most of the time casinos there casinos are like clubs you know sometimes people think casino is just to go and gamble and you know but i've realized in costa rica is really funny 
casinos are like midpoints casinos are like bars it's like bars or casinos so You, you can say I'm going to the casino, but people really know you're going for you're going for a drink. You know, it's like casino is just a name, but reality, what goes on there, is a different thing. And also, I saw this in Hako. I saw this also in Hako, where uh, casino was like a hookup place. Like boom, it was Kakoa, Kokoa, Kakoa. Yeah, that club in Hako. It's a casino stroke, you know, bar and stuff. <laughs> But uh, what about cost, cost of clubbing? Actually, Costa Rica is really expensive. So at least at least $80 a night per person. And when you are a foreigner, it's more expensive, you know. But if you're a local, there's a way you can just move around, you know. A local can buy you, yeah, maybe a local can buy you beer and stuff. But if you're a foreigner traveling, you don't expect a local to buy you beer. It's supposed to be the other way around. So, it's expensive. $80 per night. $80 per night. And uh, if you are like us, we are, in a, we are a group of like seven of us. Not really seven, but five plus of us. We spent actually a lot of money, probably three hundred dollars together. Yeah, maybe for five people that's less. But even if you are alone, at least eighty dollars, eighty dollars a night. Uh, what else did I see? Something so unique. Uh, this club ha was like it had a good good vibe, but the problem is uh, it looked like it had a few working girls. So I couldn't film freely because you don't put cameras on faces of people, and they be asking you, "Hey, where are you taking the video? What's your plan?" So the first club, which was a casino, it looked very normal. People were dancing, people were having fun. Everything was super okay. Nothing really looked fishy. You know, there's a few or two people you may see, especially ladies looking like, mm, you know, but the other one looked super fit. Like, it's a place where you can't just take out a camera and start filming, you know? Yeah. So, generally, I would say. The nightlife is good. It's good. It's, it's about your attitude. If you go with a good attitude, positive, in a good way, it's gonna be okay. But if you go with the mentality of this place is dangerous, this place is expensive, you can't really enjoy a lot. But one thing I loved about it, it's the mix of people. So you have your own preference, you have your own choice. <laughs> The vibe is more Cuban. The vibe there is purely Cuban, actually. The city looks old with a mix of everybody, and you feel like it's left out by the government in a way. At the same time, it has everything. It has the internet, you know. So it was like a mix, mix type of city, you know. It's not that city you go and you'd be like, oh, that place was was like this. You can't really describe it. It's like a mix of everything, you know. Good, bad looks dangerous not dangerous you know that's the type of city i saw but in real sense is from my own experience it wasn't dangerous it wasn't dangerous it it just looked chill it's just a place where you go and decide if you decide to drink and walk on the streets no leg but oh man Limon has done his his magic song even though he has no yeah. leg 
<laughs> He's still happy. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, did you see that? Yeah, man. Hey, muchas gracias. Uh huh. Look. Yeah, life, man. Life is how you make it, actually. Life is not about the big things. Life is just about moments small moments in life and how you appreciate them that guy looks so happy and he has no leg man me i'm like wow yeah you know yeah it's amazing and you know he's enjoying it, the music yeah he's, Actually, he's happy you know yeah, he's, he's happy. happy he doesn't yeah. need to be in the place to enjoy it exactly or a lot of money he smokes it exactly. wow look Actually, this. he has a girlfriend oh that guy has a girlfriend Oh wow! Man. That's your choice if you decide just to drink inside the club and do everything. But they were very strict entering a club. We couldn't go in because one of the girl didn't have an ID. So we ended up leaving her. Okay, yeah. So make sure you give the video a like, man. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share this video. Show people the vibe about Limon. Is actually a place to visit when you're in Costa Rica. If you skip Limon, I feel like you'll be missing a huge vibe. Of Costa Rica or the other side of Costa Rica you know it's not a unique place it's just a place that looks more Cuba and chill vibe yeah I loved it a lot and I had my friends here as you see them from the video we really enjoyed the night I would probably recommend it the next videos coming out will be from Porto Viejo Porto Viejo videos are coming out especially the streets of Porto Viejo and my perspective about Porto Viejo, okay? Bye bye for now, and I'll see you in my next one. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. Sorry, guys, for the interruption. Before this video goes on, I have to say thank you for all those friends who accompanied me to make this video like possible. Yeah, my friends from Limon, all of them. And I want to say a very special thanks to Yes. Yeah. She's the lady with afro hair you see in the video and uh she requested me to put her paypal in the link below if you guys want to support her actually she told me some part of her life which was really sad and uh she's really hard working and uh if you guys want to support her in any way maybe you know show some love in any way any support i just don't want to get into details about her life you know but if you can support her there's a link below about paypal her link below paypal support her you know show her some love and also follow all my friends on instagram just jump to my instagram the same name as this youtube channel i am marwa and you'll see all their names right there okay <laughs> Yeah.